Hi, my name is Maria. I'm a mathematician, and today I'm going to show you how to use variables to express functional relationships. So if you are given a table of values with your x and y values, and we're going to say that x is going to be 2, 4, and 5, and your y values are going to be 5, 9, and 11. So you're told that there is a functional relationship between these values, and now you have to find it. So what's going to happen is you normally have to multiply x by something and then add or subtract another value in order to end up with your y's. So this is kind of like a numbers game. So start with the 2 to 5. You know that you can get from 2 to 5 a couple of different ways. I can multiply by 2 and add 1. So that's one thing I'm thinking, times 2 and then plus 1. I can multiply by 3 and subtract 1, right? Those are the first two things that come to mind. So now what you have to do is look and see which one of these will work for each of your ordered pairs because the relationship has to be consistent throughout all of your ordered pairs. So if I do 4 times 3 is 12, minus 1 is 11, I don't get 9. But if I do 4 times 2 plus 1, I do get 9. If I do 5 times 2, I get 10, plus 1 is 11. So that means that I've found my relationship. What I'm doing is multiplying by 2 and adding 1. Now you're going to use variables to represent that by saying that y equals, and you always start with the y equals column, and then you tell me what you have to do with x. Well, you have to multiply it by 2 first. So I'm showing, I'm representing that by 2x. And then I have to add 1 to that product, so I'm just putting plus 1. So I would represent this relationship as y equals 2x plus 1. And now if you give somebody this equation, they can use it to find out any value of y when you give them x by substitution. My name is Maria, and I just showed you how to use variables to represent functional relationships.